Good morning, Laguna Woods. Thanks for tuning back in. This is a fun week. Mm -hmm. I've, Joan, I've just, it's made me think. So mm -hmm. we've been doing, can you see God in this? I kind of change the title every yeah, day. Did. <laughs> but anyway, it all comes back to that. I read this quote by Yuri Gagarin, the first Russian cosmonaut, and he said, I went to space and I can't see God. John Glenn, at least I think it was John Glenn, sources say, have told me, uh, that John Glenn said when he went to space, I've been to space and I see the face of God everywhere. And uh, that's what I see when I look mm -hmm. at life and nature. We looked, you helped us understand the woodpecker and <laughs> I tried my best to make us understand the, the vastness of the universe. Mm -hmm. Well, today I just wanted to look at God's creative ability and the variety of... I get fascinated by plants mm -hmm. and trees. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that in just a second, but what's your verse there that you okay. have? My verse is from Genesis 1. And it's chapter, 11, or excuse me, chapter 1, verse 11. And then God said, Let the land produce vegetation, seed-bearing plants and trees on the land that bear fruit with seed in it according to their various kinds. <clears throat> and that, I love that, according to the various kinds. One of my favorite things to do is, I, well, I walk for exercise mm -hmm. to begin with, but... Uh, the other day, I went and I got one of the tree guides that, oh. that Laguna Woods Historical Society puts out. You know that when Cortese mm -hmm. started what was called Leisure World then, he wanted trees from all yeah. over the world. And he did it. Mm -hmm. And so I know we're not an, an official arboretum or something, but we have... I know without any question one of the great tree exhibitions that are in Orange County, if not California, because our variety of trees is amazing. So I got the tree. There are nine tree guides, Joan, really? that are put out. You can get them at the Historical Society next to the library. Mm -hmm. And they, you take the guide and you walk along the path that they tell you where to go, and then it's like the history of each tree. Oh, that's nice. Well, I, I know that you walk the, uh, you've walked the path by the creek. Yes. Yeah. I was, Did you ever? I was so, looking at the ducklings. You <laughs> like the ducks, which is a form of life. Yeah. Well, I encourage you to get this tree guide okay. for that walk. And it's three panels, no. Well, it's trifold, so mm -hmm. it's right. what, like five or six pages yeah. of different trees that are on that walk. Did you? Well, I know what, what your favorite tree is, probably, on that walk. Oh, yes. Yeah, I knew you'd think the of it. The one that I have pictures of my family sitting on. <laughs> what is it? Tell us. Is that, that a cypress? No. It's, Sycamore. It? Sycamore. Yeah. Tell me about it. What well, you remember. It Let's just say what you remember. It goes up and then it goes sideways and it goes up. And I have pictures. My uh, niece and her family were here and they're all sitting on the tree and I have pictures of them. Do you yeah. remember how old it is? Oh, no. I don't. You don't? No. It's over 450 years old. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. Oh, I got to get that tree guide. You do. <laughs> Not to mention, well, there's actually, you, you I, there's a plaque there that, that says that. It's, it's, oh. it's, part, it's a historical society memoration tree or something. I don't know. Wow. But when you think, of, I mean, it's older than the United States. That tree was there. Ah. I know. It's amazing. Way before Laguna Woods. Way before. <laughs> but that's such a famous tree. And, and uh, folks, if you haven't been out, by, well, I know you've been by the creek. That's mm -hmm. just one of the great places in Laguna Woods you have to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, we actually did a series of shows uh, yes. from the tree <laughs> one time. Uh, but anyway, on this tree, this, the, the thing that is that God loves variety. Yes. He does. There's something like 
what, I looked this up too. They're not even sure how many varieties mm -hmm. of plants there are, but the best estimates are 1.5 million to 2 million different varieties of plants. Wow. Why? He loves variety. That's why. Mm -hmm. And uh, you see it mm -hmm. in people. Mm -hmm. He could have made us all the same, but we, there's, there's different ethnicities and, uh, and all. And, but he f likes variety in his plants. I spent most of my life in Northern California, and we always camp in the big redwoods. Don't you love the you redwoods? You just look up, and sometimes you can barely see sky. There's the, the groves are just full of trees, and, and they're yeah. so tall, so big. I think this really reveals something about God, mm -hmm. that he enjoys seeing different aspects mm -hmm. of life and in the, his tree creation. I really do. Mm -hmm. And by the way, just as an aside, so one of the trees, actually there's two of them on that path that I really learned something, Joan. So do you, do you know why it's called the Golden Rain Foundation in Laguna mm -hmm. Woods? I did not either. And I, I wonder if you out there in Laguna Woods watching today understand why we always say GRF, Golden Rain mm -hmm. Foundation. It's because Cortesi loved a, na a tree from China called the Golden Rain Tree. Wow. And there are two of them right by the sycamore. I didn't know yes. that. Yes. And so uh, we're putting up pictures right now behind us of the Golden Rain Tree. Tree. Oh, good. So our community association is named after this tree. That, uh, and as you see, it's it's not the most, for me, the most beautiful of trees. But it does come from China. Mm -hmm. It's native to China, and I guess Cortesi just loved this tree. Maybe it was a gift. It was. Well, I, I I know, and it was in the brochure, but I can't. Re I don't have it with me, and. <laughs> And I don't remember that, that, that thing, but I was fascinated by that mm -hmm. because no one hardly knows the history of, of this place. I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. But again, wonder why it, the golden rain tree started in China. It's where God planted the first right. ones. And then you said he, he, he made the seeds. Yes. By the way, that's an interesting thing, too. Yeah, the fruit has You don't plant an apple tree and seed no. and expect a pear tree. That's exactly right. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? And then even some of the trees and plants, you can just take a cutting and put it in the ground where others you need seeds. But it still be creates the same tree. It still creates the same tree. That's the part that yeah. fascinates me. So there is some cross-pollination mm -hmm. and... And, uh, and now we graft and yeah. get new varieties and all yeah. that. But uh, the originals. It's so great. Well, folks, We're that's why we wanted to spend this week talking about various aspects of the world and the universe and our human beings. We spent, mm -hmm. I, I still go back, to me, the most amazing thing is human life. Mm -hmm. But I'm fascinated by it all. Yeah. And I think they all reflect our creator. Yes. So, folks, all we wanted to do this week is make us think. And when we go outside, when we look at plants, when we look at the flowers, I there's as many flowers in Laguna Woods as there are trees. Yeah. And uh, that's because, again, mm -hmm. God loves variety. Anyway, I just encourage you, look and see the hand of God. See it in your kids, in the life that, that he gave you there, in your plants, in your, uh, this, your surroundings. None of it's by chance. None of it's by know. chance. Well, that ends this week. I've loved it. Thank you, Joan, for being on air with me. It's been fun. Thank you. Hey, we'll see you next week for another great series of shows. Have a great weekend, Laguna Woods.